In our kitchen, we'll be making a super easy recipe of chicken lasagna. Our chicken lasagna is a very simple recipe as it only requires a few ingredients. You can see how cheesy it is and how many nice layers it has. It's a very easy recipe to try at home. So let's get right into the treatments. We're going to add some oil. Then we're going to add in about half a white onion it must be thinly chopped then I'm going to add in one teaspoon of garlic paste I'm going to mix this well together until it changes color As you know, lasagna requires a lot of steps. So this is our first step to make the filling of the chicken noodles. We have to add in all the ingredients one by one so you can get the authentic taste of each ingredient. I'm just waiting for the onions to change but in color. Our onions have turned slightly golden brown. Now I'm going to add in 250 gram of chicken mince. about 5 to 10 minutes on slow heat until it changes in color. You can see our chicken mince is changing in color. We have to wait till all of the pink goes away. I just prefer chicken mince but you guys can take anything according to your liking. A lot of people prefer lean beef mince. The mince has completely changed in color. You can also use a fork to maybe break down the pieces of the mince. Now we are going to add in our spices. I'm adding in one tablespoon of salt. Just the thing about our chicken lasagna is we have to add things one by one. We mix this well together. Then I'm going to add in about three quarter tablespoon of red chili powder. Mix this well together. have to add in so much spice you can just add according to your liking once our salt and red chili powder have mixed well together with the mince i'm going to add in some dry parsley trust me this is going to give you a wonderful taste just mix well together then we add some more Also, we're going to add in some oregano. Now that 
that our spices are all mixed together, now I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of tomato paste. You can add more if you like. It all depends on how saucy you want chicken lasagna to be. Just mix this well together. I chose tomato paste, but you guys can add in fresh tomatoes as well. I prefer not to add tomatoes, but I prefer to add the tomato paste. Once this is mixed well together, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of tomato sauce. Together. I'm mixing well together the tomato paste and the tomato sauce and our chicken mince is looking just perfect for the chicken lasagna. Now I'm going to add about a quarter cup water and let it boil. I'm going to cover it and then let it boil on very slow heat. After five minutes our chicken mince is looking just perfect. Remember, we do not need to dry it so much. It must stay saucy. Now, once this is done, next step, I'm going to make the white lasagna sauce. I'm going to melt two tablespoons of butter in the pan. Just wait for it to melt completely. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of flour and mix it well. Next, I'm going to add in one cup milk. And mix it together. We're going to mix this well together until the sauce thickens. So let's just mix it well together for about five to seven minutes. I've been stirring this. Now I'm going to add in about half a tablespoon of salt for taste. And some black pepper. all together and I think our sauce is just looking perfect. I'm going to add some oil just to brush it around so our lasagna doesn't stick to the pan. Now I'm going to add in the lasagna sheets. You can add yours according to your cooking instructions on the back. Mine are already pre-cooked, so I don't need to boil it or do anything to it. So line it well together. Then I add the chicken mince. Add in our white sauce, just drizzle it all around. Then I'm going to add in our mozzarella cheese slices. I'm adding in slices, but you can take anything like grated cheese, but I prefer slices. Another layer I'm going to add in lasagna sheets. You can add in whichever angle you like. Now I'm going to add in the remaining mince mixture. And then just spread it out evenly. Now the white sauce 
just drizzle it over and then just spread it evenly so after this we're going to add our mozzarella slices on top as you can see i'm done layering my lasagna with mozzarella slices before I bake it, I'm going to sprinkle some oregano on top of it for just for taste. Now we're going to bake it in a preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So after 30 minutes, our chicken lasagna is perfectly ready. You can see how brown and tasty it's looking. Please do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Oh!